Today is Saturday, January 21st, and we're officially at the end of the third week of Winter 2023 anime season, which means we can get into our final impressions. When you're up and down and you're over and out, come listen to your friend, Stephen Brown, this is the show with Stephen. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Weeb World. I'm your host, Stevie B, a.k.a. Daddy Cool, a.k.a. The Rugged Child. If you're new here, this is my weekly anime show where I talk about what's going on in anime today. Uh, let's break right into the drop series. That's right, I got two new drop series. They don't deserve the editing time for their own slot, so here is going to be two pictures of them overlapping. Um, I'm going to talk about Ningen Fushin and Chillin' in My 30s. They're both pretty generic. Um, I dropped them after three. I gave them the full three episodes. Ningen Fushin um, was the first show I watched this season and started strong for me. Actually, I liked the first episode uh, as a first episode, I enjoyed it, but as it goes on, it just proves to be very generic. And then Chillin' in My 30s is a generic show as well, and just has nothing that's really drawing me in. There's, like, some, the lightest of fan service, so if you want boobs, there's some boobs in there if you want to check that out. Next up is um, our Probation, which is only one show on Probation right here. It's Malevolent Spirits Mono no Guitari. I'm only two episodes in, and... The first episode, I didn't like it. The second episode, the action is good, and I appreciate, let's say, the world and stuff, um, and some of the characters. Um, I gotta watch this one more and see where it goes. Um, of course, I always say three. I think three episodes is the best little amount to get, and we're only two episodes in. So after the third episode, I'll feel more comfortable with how I feel about this show and decide whether or not I'm going to keep it on my list. I forgot two shows last week for the list, um, which I will get to as they pop up, but we're going to start with um, our first show, number seven. Ranked number 17 is Ayakashi Triangle, which was 15. It was the last of the list, so it's just moved down to accommodate the two other shows I've added. I've only seen two episodes of this. I read the manga. Like I said last time, I can't recommend it. Do not watch it. It's terrible. It's just boobs. If you want to see some boobs, check it out. One of the shows um, I forgot last week is Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. I've seen two episodes of this. Uh, I also have read some of the manga in the past. Um, that's on my manga list as I go through. I read a chapter, go to the next thing, read a chapter, and so I read it here and there. Um, but it's just feeling very generic to me. Um, it's a, like a watchable show. It's fun. It's cute. It's just not big for me it's for whatever reason and there's something i don't like about it i can't really pinpoint that's usually what happens to me it's just a vibe a feeling i just can't really pinpoint what i don't like about it but there's something i don't like about it if i ever figure it out i'll make a video about it or something number 15 i feel bad for the show is toma chan is a girl it's not a bad show i like it um it's moved down from the 11th spot from last week to 15 and it's just because i wanted to i had to accommodate for other shows that i thought were better so just, i've seen three episodes of this and it's just kind of jumping back and forth up and down the list um, and it's not done yet. You know, it's going to be moving around because this one's trying to find its home. It doesn't know yet where it wants to be. It's not a bad show. I recommend you go watch this one for sure. Um, Epon again, uh, down from rank 10 to the 14th spot. I've seen two episodes of the show, waiting for the third one tomorrow. Um, I, I, needs to, I need to see it, you know, where it goes to solidify its stance for me because it's, it's up my alley. It's enjoyable, Moe, well, um, about uh, judo. But again, something, I think, missing there, something disconnected. The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague has stayed at the 13th spot, hasn't moved up or down. I've seen three episodes of this, and it's a good show as well. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But the, the, the internet seems to really like this one. I think this one's going to be really popular, but it is pretty generic to me, but it is, it's fun. Onimai um, is staying right at the 12th spot where it was last week. We've seen three episodes of this, and I'm going to say I enjoy it more now into the third episode. It's gotten better for me, especially since they introduced uh, a character named Kaede, who's running for best girl of the season. If you know, you know. Look her up on Twitter. I watched the second episode of Fire, The Fire Hunter today. It's moved up from the 14th spot to 11. Um, this show is interesting. I was thinking while I was watching this show today that there's, st again, something missing with this show, something missing for me, although I do appreciate the visual style. It's looking different, something different to look at than the normal anime style. Not something you see every day. Got to wait and see how the third episode pans out. Now, the second show I forgot last week, Campfire Cooking in Another World, is sitting at number 10 already with two episodes in. This is a fun little show. It could I could change my mind later, but the comedy's good. It's cute characters. Um, I caught my girlfriend's attention, you know, which it says something, you know, because she's not an anime fan. So anytime she likes an anime, uh, you know, it's easily accessible, kind of like, you know, easy listening, as I like to say about some shows. It's easy to watch. Uh, so, so far, so good. The Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World has stayed at the ninth spot. Another guilty pleasure for me. This one's uh, three episodes in, and I will say again, 
Um, if you haven't watched this one, go check it out. It looks generic. It is pretty generic, but there's like there's like these weird packets of flavor it throws in, these little fun sections with characters and stuff that um, it draws me in, at least. Another show I feel kind of bad for, Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. Very good show. It's dropped from uh, rank 7 to 8 uh, with three episodes in. And only because there's other better shows. This is a, a good, solid show, though, and I'm excited to see where it goes. The story um, just took a turn in the third episode. It's exciting. I want to see where it goes, for sure. Um, just because the adding of shows, everything up here is going to start falling one rank. Um, Near Automata went from 6th to 7th. Um, I just watched the third episode of that today. It's a great show. I never played the games, never knew anything about it until I started watching the show. Um, I know my cousin loves it. I've shouted him out before. What's up, Ryan? Um, so I would say if you don't know anything about Nier, you can you can try and watch this. I needed a little walkthrough from my cousin. Um, but You don't need to have played the games to watch this show, but it's good action so far. Down from the fifth spot to the sixth spot now is Trigun Stampede. Just watched the third episode right now, right before filming, um, and it really upped the stakes. The action's great, um, and the only thing holding this series back for me is the CGI. I'm not going to lie. I've said it before. Um, it's just a hard sell for me with CGI. I'm not going to lie. I'm just biased against it. I think it looks gross. This is good CGI, though. Some of the best CGI I've seen in anime, for sure, um, but it makes me want to go watch the old series, um, which I've seen bits and pieces as a kid from my sister watching it in the living room and stuff. So I know that's on Hulu in English as well if you have Hulu, so I actually do want to go back and check that out. Well, kind of like a sleeper hit, honestly, um, uh, my guiltiest of pleasures is Farming Life in Another World has gone from the 8th rank to the 5th rank, 3 episodes in. This show scratches some kind of itch for me, like in my monkey brain. I love watching every episode you're watching this town that the main character is building progress and grow and stuff like that. And I think that's what people liked about, like, sort of online in the first season, the beginning, when watching him level up and you get better and better, stuff like that. There's an enjoyability to that. It's like when you're playing a video game yourself, you want to see the numbers go up kind of thing. So I guess, I guess that's what it is. Not that I like Sword Art Online, please. Please don't think I like Sword Art Online. I am super excited to watch the third episode of this tomorrow morning. Handyman Saito in Another World is staying um, equal at the fourth spot, two episodes in, third episode tomorrow. You gotta check this one out. This one is big. This is uh, one of the best shows this season. Now, High Card um, fell from the second rank to the third rank with uh, two episodes because the second episode... Which it is the second episode. The first episode just draws you in so much. The first episode is a roller coaster ride. The first episode was awesome. A great episode of anime. Probably a great, one of the best first episodes you could have in something super awesome introduction. The second episode obviously slows down a bit. And really got to see where this goes. The show gives me like X-Men vibes, if you like X-Men. Uh, very, very fun show. I just, it's, it's in third place. I mean, obviously, but it did drop a rank. That's all. Up from the third rank, switching the high card in second uh, in the second rank is Magical Revolution of the Princess and Young Lady, Young Genius Lady, whatever it is. Um, three episodes in, this show is like a slow and steady, like, like I want to say like a tight, not a Titanic, because that sounds wrong. Like slow, you know, this is a lazy river, a slow moving train. This thing is pushing slowly but surely, almost like a sleeper hit as well. Um, it's just a classic style anime, and what, I don't know how to explain this. Um, but if you've been watching anime all your life, like I have since I was a kid and watching older stuff and watching as things evolve and things like that, um, this just feels like anime. It's got this vibe to it. It feels like I'm watching an anime, not like I'm watching an isekai product bullshit stuff like that, or like something that like, you know, it's just an anime. It just works. Buddy Daddies is still at rank one, and I'm not gonna lie, I did not watch the new episode, the third episode yet. I'm holding out because I watched this one with my girlfriend, and then um, we went to we sat down last night to watch uh, episode three, and uh, Crunchyroll had the first episode of the English dub. Uh, so we're we're gonna wait until the English dub comes out and pick it up from there from episode three on, and I think it's worth the wait. Um, I'm thinking about I don't know if I want to wait that long, you know, um, to stay on top of things, but I want to. See this English dub, see if it's good or not. The, the, I can, you know, I can say I watched the first episodes in in the Japanese. Go watch it; it's super worth it. Haven't watched the English dub yet; can't speak on it. The only other show in English right now is Toma Chan as girls simulcasting in dub, and um, it's okay. It's all right. I I didn't like it the first episode. I remember hating it, but now I'm okay with it. All right, so there's my list uh, for this week. Um, so if you guys agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about some anime. I joined the My Anime List uh, Discord, but I am really bad at Discord. I'm trying really hard to be part of that because I want to be part of, like, I've never been in, like, a community or, like, a group chat. Or I'm not good at group chats, stuff like that. I want to be part of the anime community more and try to talk to people about stuff and, you know, just enjoy anime as a fan. Um, but, you know, it can be kind of hard to enjoy anime with other people because weeboos exist, you know. Um, 
but uh, expect things to be a little different coming up. I want to uh, not do the, the lists. I'm probably going to stop doing the lists maybe after next week. This might be the last one. I'm not sure because I'm going to do a big award show at the end of the season uh, if you want it. So I, I don't want you to know what I'm ranking, you know, things, you know, a week or two in advance because then you know it's not going to change much. And my opinions do change, so things can fluctuate, but... I want it to be a surprise when I pick my favorite comedy, my favorite action, my best girl of the season, my, and then my favorite show, stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to be doing still weekly anime content um, every Saturday. If we're not doing the list, we'll still do something. I want to react to, um, there's these lists that come out, um, I think it's through Crunchyroll, I could be wrong, it's on the r slash anime Reddit where they put, you know, the users' rankings of what people think is best, and I saw one, like, I saw Chibi Reviews do a video on that like a week ago and someone put f fucking the angel next door spoils me rotten at like rank three. Like that was like user, like that's what everyone thought was like one of the best shows of the season and you're, you're wrong if you think that show is good. You're just wrong, dude. You just haven't seen a good romance anime yet and I can help you. Ask me in the comments for a recommendation and I can help you because no, that's not it, son. Um, what I'll do is stuff like that and then I'll do more targeted videos and I'll do like the footage I've done before the best I can and make um, videos about specific shows airing the season, why you should be watching it, talking about characters, things like that, and just have more fun with that. You can still expect trying my best to put out normal breaking it downs during the week, which I just did the one on Hogwarts Legacy, which is controversial. I know if you haven't seen it, go check it out, though. Um, I've, I'm very fair in it. I don't think I'm offensive at all, but I know that people will find it offensive. Um, and again, yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching and listening to me talk about anime if you are, if you're here. Um, like and subscribe, please, if you wouldn't mind. It helps a lot. My, I'm not going to lie, I haven't gained a subscriber in like two months, I think, and that kind of sucks, dude. It kind of hurts my heart, you know? <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm out here in the paint trying, you know, doing my best. Um, but yeah, if you like this, uh, I appreciate you listening. If you didn't like it, I appreciate you staying and listening to an opinion that you don't agree with. If you hated it, I think you should go get bent. The show is over, but you're still here hanging around. Why don't you hit subscribe?